Greetings, 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 my sports to the moon people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope everybody is doing okay. Hope you are all getting ready to watch West Indies versus England. Yes, my people, St. Lucia will come alive at 3 today as West Indies look to keep the series alive. You know how we do it over here? We like to give you the keys to victory. Not very often our players take um, would take the key and open the lock, you know? But <laughs> still going to give you the keys to victory for this game. You know, a couple of things that we need to make sure we get right if we are to win this game. So just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you all think in the comment section. All right, so going into this first game here at the Darren Sami um, ground, we know that, you know, this pitch, it usually gives us some good cricket. Batters can expect to, um, you know, they can trust, they can trust the bounce, they can trust the movement and all. You know, bowlers, they know that if they put in the work, they too can get something out of this pitch or out of this cricket. So we are looking to go in and play our best cricket. You understand? We haven't done so just yet. And as a result of that, we find ourselves 2 0 down in this series. So going into this game, hopefully we have a strong um, unit. I mean, it's a good squad. So hopefully they are able to select a balance playing 11 that can go out there and um, get the job done. Now, the first two games we lost the toss <laughs> and we were asked to bat first, you understand? And with that, we, we lost. We lost both games. You know, England, they too have shown some amount of weakness. Not, well, not necessarily against us, generally speaking. When it comes on to setting total, you know, they like to chase us. But I have always said that even though we seem to be a team that is stronger when we are chasing, I've always said that the decision needs to be um, need to be made based on, on what's happening on the on the day. You understand? Based on what's happening where the pitch is concerned, what's happening um, in terms of the you know if there is you are expecting any rain or stuff like that. So you know um, we're looking we're looking on all of that. But if everything is everything, as I like to say, we probably want to bowl first. You understand? That is where we find most of our luck. You know, we can bowl first and um, look to get them for, you know, obviously they are in a good flow, you know. So, I'm not going to act stupid and say bowl them out or restrict them for 130, 140. I, I want the bowlers to give me something that the batter and that our batsmen can work with. And when I say work with, I mean that when it's time to bat, we can say yes, the batsmen should be able to go there and get that because the pitch is not doing this, the pitch is not doing that. Our bowlers did enough work to get us that. You know, so once again we expect the spinners to lead from the front. I mean Alzari Joseph is back in, so that pitch will generally give um, support to Seamus, right? One of the better pitches we have in the Caribbean right now. So um yeah, if we are bowling first, we're looking to get them for under 190 you know 180 one, 180 would be a good ax you understand um i am saying this but i haven't really looked at the you now that i'm making the video I, I remember i didn't look at the what is usually the par score at that ground but you know um if my bowlers can get them for 175 180 then i i have to say hats off you understand we're not playing on pitches like in the recently concluded t20 world cup where teams can only make um, 120, 130. <laughs> you understand? We're not playing on those sort of pitches. So I, I am not going to over pressure the bowlers. If they can give us 175, 180, that is good. That is good in, in T20 cricket these days. You understand? So 175, 180, 185, we work with 185 the most. And, um, you know, we, we, we expect that. Now, based on, the, on, on, on what we're, we're expecting with the ball, you know, uh, our spinners, we're expecting them to be very, um, we're expecting them to be very, very economical. Hopefully they will grab wickets. 
you understand I, I did the rankings this morning ICC rankings and we see Moti and Hussein they are up there you understand both of them in the top six so you know it just goes to show that they are doing some work in T20 cricket you understand so um, yeah we're looking, we're looking at the spinners to lead from the front obviously Alzari Joseph will be brought back in the team you know we see where Captain Rafman Paul was speaking and according to him they really missed Alzari Joseph in the first couple of games so he will bring his pace and I am hoping that he will also bring accuracy and wicket taking deliveries so you know we are looking to have Alzari Joseph back in and um, we're also looking to you know see what the other seamers can bring Romario Shepard is expected to continue his good vein of form you understand um, he's currently in the top 10 T20 all-rounders right now you understand so he's expected to um he's expected to, to to do some work for us with the ball right so we're looking we're looking at the bowlers to go on hunting pairs this is something that i always say when i'm talking about bowling i generally talk I use it when i'm talking about test cricket but it's the same right we have one man trying to keep one in tight and picking up wickets while you know you're attacking from another end you understand it's just that whoever we, we want to call the attacking bowler or the strike bowler they still have to make sure they are not giving away a ton load of runs you understand we can't have one man bowling four overs for 20 runs and the next man bowling four overs for 50 or, or, or 50 odd runs you know that that not necessarily going to work too much you're going to undo all of the work that has been done at the, the other end so we're looking for the bowlers to go out there and um you know help us out with that no, the batting, my people, the batting, it hasn't really clicked so far. You know, one would think that when it comes on to T20 right now, our batting is our strength. But I don't know if it's a case where we think we bat deep. So people just go out there and, you know, they just start swinging. <laughs> yeah, like a swing away. You understand? And you find that sometimes we lose wickets. And then, you know, once, once we lose three, four wickets in the power play, generally speaking that's it i have said that so many times on here you know you, st you might have a uh, every now and again we're probably one man still stay through the top part um one of the top part of batsman stay then you probably have someone like a romario shepherd a moti or somebody in the back end you know doing some work for us but generally speaking you lose three four wickets that's that in the power play you know you're, you're probably on your way to losing the game you understand because that you know when it comes on to the to after the power play the field will be spread so once we spread the field you understand it's, it's more risk of trying to clear the, the, the boundary you know so that is something that we, we, we need to look at you know so um yeah our batting our batting needs to be on point you understand one of the top somebody out of the top five needs to bat throughout the innings are pretty close to the end of the innings you understand preferably one of the openers because they would be facing majority of the um you know they would be able to face all of the overs if they are batting right through or close to the end you understand but it would be nice to have someone in the top five batting through you know um we saw captain Rafman Paul saying the same thing after this uh the second defeat that you know we need to have somebody um in the top five batting through glad he included himself and not just the top four you know he's he's um he's actually playing as a specialist batsman so he has to be in there you know so we, we're looking we're looking for that we're looking for that you know, looking for a good start power play you know if we can come out of the power play you know um 50 and we lose one wicket you know we take it i i, I would take that you understand um you know when, when you come out of the power play 40 and under you know, with three, two or three wickets down, you're probably not on the way to winning, not winning the game. So if we can, if we can get out of the um, power play, 50 yard, you know, if, if you go 60, then I will take it. But 50 yard for one, I, I would work with that. You understand? The opener, that, that they would have done their job. You know, ideally, you want to get over that. But we still have to take in account the fact that um, we are playing against good up um, opposition, you know they are expecting to we are expecting them to bowl pretty well. You understand? So I'm not gonna say we need to we, we should be able to go out there and blast 70, 80, 
half of the power play overs. I'm not gonna say that, you know, but if we can lose just one wicket with 50 yard runs, we probably on our way. And then Puran, you know, we haven't seen the best of him just yet. Um, the first couple of games, I mean, he looked comfortable out there until he got out, until he, he, he got out in the last game, especially, you know, was uh, striking the ball, you know, looking confident as usual, looking to put away bad balls, you understand, looking to still score off the good balls. So obviously we're expecting him to continue that, um, you know, and give us something big today. You know, um, he's going to be in the team. We still don't know who else, um, we don't know if Hope or Chase are who going to come in. You understand, but um, we, we definitely need them to score runs. You know, Rutherford has been very consistent for us. You know, a couple of games now we haven't gotten anything from him, so I am I am expecting him to to fall in and and, and give us some runs. So, you know, hopefully we can get all our bat, batsmen clicking, and we can go out there and um, either either you know uh, we can go out there and get get whatever they put on the board. If we're batting first, it's the same thing. You understand? If we're batting first, we need to look to get um, close to 200. I know that I, I said that England, we should look to restrict them for 185. So how am I pushing us to 200? Because I am talking in, uh, to, how we can win the game. You understand? Not necessarily how um, we can match up with them. I'm talking how we can win the game. That's what I'm looking at. You understand? So even though I'm saying that we don't want England to make more than 180, 185, I am asking my players to go there and score. Um, and score, you know, 190, 95, 200, there about. You understand? But yeah, that is pretty much it, my viewers and subscribers. Gonna leave it right here. So for now, um, after the game, we will have a talk. Big up on yourself and stay safe.